Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse and today we're looking at Tang Garden. This is a one to four player game. Plays in about 45 minutes. It's a big box. So let's check out what's in it. As I peel off the plastic, that was kind of halfway done for me already. I like to tell you about twitch.tv slash heartboard games where we play games like this one and many others, both digitally and physically. All right. Already, I like the cover art. Um, this is by Thundergriff Games. I don't know if I've heard of them. Yep, I like everything I see so far. Let's check it out. No one I've heard of as far as design or anything like that. What is this? Punch boards can be found below the insert. Okay. Uh, you're also planting a tree by purchasing this game. All right, rule book is 12 pages. And it's, uh, let's see, where does it really end and really start? Okay, pretty much on page two, it starts the setup. And ends around page eight, so. Not too bad, lots of pictures. I see this, um, yeah, should be an easy game, 45 minutes, that's all of this. All right, so we have uh, the board. This is an interesting board because the cuts in it. Oh, starts off pretty plain though. Yeah. It's not what it looks like on the box, so you know, I guess it's up to the players to make that. You have some boards with the uh, cube cutouts. You can see the colors at the top. There are minis. Actually, I didn't know there were minis. There are cards. I mean, I knew there were buildings. I guess I wasn't thinking people minis. And they said below the insert, which we check all the time anyway. Here they are. We'll just feed them back into there. So I imagine that's going to be our building for our rooftop pieces, which we'll show in a second. Uh, yeah, colorful. Lots of squares. Different colors on the back. All right, so now we have some like landscapes here. I don't know what this is, but fell out the other one. I guess that goes on the side of the board. Got some trees. A little damage on that tree. What is that? Yeah, a little of the uh, plastic peeled back. Oh well, can't be perfect, I guess. Let's look at the uh, the other stuff in the close-up. These are some rooftops. These are, well, let's get a closer look. I can't understand what it is. I'm gonna open the plastic. I know those are rooftops. Oh, okay. Divider of some sort. These are pupils. run through of them. I like how they're all different. They could have easily just made one sculpt, called it a day. But they didn't. Awesome. And we've got plastic bases, it seems. Um, these are really plain, just kind of that cap shape, cubes, cards, cards, we'll open these, let's see, anything else I'm missing, I don't think so, except for these cards, which will be done in just a second, eh, eh, eh. 
Did they give the cheater strip, huh? Nope. Nothing. Come on. Does anybody know what Tang Garden is? I'm sure it tells a story about it in the rule book. When I think of Tang, I think of the orange drink. <laughs> That's my experience with it. I really doubt there's any uh, oranges here. Right. Close ups. Fish. Birds. Peonies? Panies? Ponies? Flowers. Lotus. Got a pine. Now that's a very different looking pine than in south, south uh, US. Peach tree. Magnolia. Oh, they're very, very different magnolia. <laughs> Willow. Mysteria. Pavilion. Bridge. Okay, so all the icons on the bottom are unique to what they are doing. Back is pretty plain. And finally, the architect, child. Okay, so these are the minis. If you're painting your minis, you got something to base it on. That's a cat. Not on the cards, but next to me. But that's it for uh, Tang Garden. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment if you know uh, the origins of Tang. And until next time, the box is closed.